Hey, and welcome everyone. Um, we are going to go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to the room. And today I'm going to be sharing with you information for veteran entrepreneurs, individuals who have served in the military um, and now are discharged and are civilians and are wanting to figure out how they can be successful as veteran entrepreneurs. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, but I do want to let you know that Welcome to the Room is a space for imperfect people where we hold space for each other as we do the daily work to actually become better people. And guess what? That's in all lanes of our lives. So I will be sharing information with you sometimes about politics. Um, here is related to veterans. We may talk about some social stuff that's going on because all of that stuff does shape us and make us who we are. So let me go ahead and share with you my screen um, in regards to VWISE, which is one of my most favorite platforms when it comes to serving veterans. This is absolutely a fantastic organization. IVMF is just amazing. So VWISE is for vet female veterans um, and it is again veterans, veteran women igniting the spirit of entrepreneurship. Now they have cohorts and basically this is a, space, a time when female veterans meet together who are interested in starting a business or already have a business and may want to, you know, figure out how to scale their business, or maybe they're looking at relaunching their businesses. And so I really love VWISE. I actually attended a, a cohort in New Orleans years ago. And when I tell you it was the best experience ever, it was the best experience ever. Um, they housed us in, I want to say the NBC Hotel, I always have a hard time remembering the name of the hotel, but it was it was top tier, five stars, top tier. The room, the 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 check in area, the restaurant, the bar, it was amazing. And then on the days of the um, actual training, very well organized, very helpful. Um, I lost my book, and it still hurts me to this day that I don't have my book. But anyway, so they have applications now open for the conference in Salt Lake City. That conference will take place October the 11th through the 13th, 2024. And that before you go to the court in person, they do have a um, curriculum that you go through to basically prepare you for the in-person portion of it, which I think is really, really good. So at least when you get there, you do have some idea of who you are, for one, as a female veteran. Um, also, you know, what it is that you want to do, you potentially narrow down your niche, your niche just a little bit better. Um, the other thing that I absolutely love about the VWISE core is that you can bring your spouse with you um, they are all inclusive, which means that if you uh, are in a same sex marriage, you can bring your female spouse. There is no tripping, none of that. I mean, it was just absolutely an amazing environment to be in, um, just to see how everyone was just so welcoming. Uh, if you need any kind of accommodations, if you have a disability, they are right there to make sure they accommodate you. I never saw any issues with anyone with any, you know, from me, because I didn't, of course, we didn't know each other, but maybe just from a physical, physical disability, I didn't see anyone having any kind of issues. Um, we had breakfast, I think, I want to say we were fed all three days. Um, I don't remember having to go anywhere to get food. I never had to leave the hotel. They took care, they took care of us. Um, here is a photo of the group. Uh, that um, attended one of their cohorts. And I will tell you that it is absolutely amazing. Uh, Trisha Ann Beckford said, I would ab absolutely recommend VWISE because I now see how passionate and invested this entire organization is to women, veterans, and spouses on their journey of changing their current si situation. I love the spirit that is illuminated when it comes to starting one's business. I look forward to the future and future IBMF events. 
I really do wish that they did have something for former IBMF um, attendees. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, BY's core attendees, because it would just be great to see some of the ladies again. So the details are, this is for women with a new idea for a business or who have recently started a business and who are serving on active duty, honorably discharged veterans or military spouses, partners. So both of you can come, like I said. Um, they have different locations. The VYs take place online for the mandatory three-week phase. However, the Capstone Conference moves to a different city, each cohort, to facilitate easier travel for participants. Um, participants must pay for their own travel to the conference. Previous sites include Atlanta, Nashville, Chicago, Houston, Phoenix, San Antonio, Jacksonville, and Louisville. And like I said, I went to the one in New Orleans, and it was perfect um, for me. It, and I didn't fly in. I actually drove to New Orleans. I had no issues, had no issues with parking, nothing, okay? Um, the three-week online business fundamentals course with weekly live facilitated office hours followed by an in-person capstone conference after completion. There is a $75 registration fee that covers a 20-plus module course as well as two nights of lodging and most meals during the capstone conference. That $75, I baby, when I tell you just the accommodations again y'all let me tell you and if you come by yourself you're in a room on your own it's not like they're telling you you gotta have a roommate somebody you don't know um again you can bring your spouse um so again that 75 dollars was too easy for me to give up because just the, the two the two nights and three days the meals the education the guest speakers the the meeting of you know individuals in different areas of business, it was just top tier all the way. Um, the why is to learn the fundamentals of launching and running a business and connect with a community of women that understand the challenges and are rooted for you to find success. And when VWISE runs one to two cohorts per year, the online course requires a three and three to five hours a week for three weeks. Um, the capstone conference occurs a few weeks after course completion for participants. And as you can see, again, let's go back. This starts tomorrow, so you still have time. This week, get enrolled, okay? It's really not hard at all. And you also have, for us, when we did it, we had a mentor that actually kind of checked in with us during the online portion, which was really great as well. Um, and then the conference is in Salt Lake City. You click apply. And this is the VWISE application. And you'll just go ahead and, you know, uh, start the application. So, guys, please, please, please go ahead and check into this. You will not regret it. Do you see all of these women in the room? Now, of course, you know, you have our, um, our men that also show up for us as well. But look at this. You, the folks in the room, amazing, okay? All right, so let me go to one other place, and that's going to be the Small Business Asso um, Administration, I want to say association. Um, and they are, of course, huge advocates for veterans, of course. And let me find, okay, here we go. All right, so the Small Business Administration has... Um, different programs and initiatives for veteran employ uh, entrepreneurs as well. One of the ones that I've went to was the Boost to Business. And this program, I went, um, maybe it was about three hours away from where I live, but it was worth it. It gave an introduction to entrepreneurship. You got a huge um, book that went through the business, you know, veteran business and just like all the different parts of business from starting it, your niche, you know, your market summary, your revenue strategy to how do you grow your business? How do you scale it? Um, and then there's also the reboot, the reboot program, which is really, really good. I see here that Mississippi State University also has, um, you know, some part in the veteran entrepreneurship uh, portion of the SBA. So that is something that's really good for you to become a part of. I think the thing with SBA is just the follow up, I think, and just uh, that inclusive feeling. I, it was good, 
it could it could have been better. I will say that it could have been better um, from a more interactive standpoint. That the the presenters are excellent. The information is excellent. I just think that when you get into the nooks and crannies of business, it's really where the hands on really matters. Like you know, giving you know, creating your thirty second pitch, et cetera. So. I would definitely like to have seen a little bit more hands on the boots to business is um, a, a program that you definitely want to go and just check out. You never know who you're going to, to meet in those classes. And that is really, really good. Um, uh, some of them or most of them are now online, which is good because it makes it convenient for you. So you don't have to travel far if you don't um, if you don't desire to. So that's really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I've been to, I think I've been to the biz, Boots to Business. I don't know if I've done the reboot, so I may do that just to see, you know, how it's how it's going now. Um, and then this Boots to Business Revenue ready, Readiness uh, is really good. If you are having any confusion over how to track your income, um, how to set it up correctly, I'm assuming that's what this is for. So, Revenue Readiness is a six-week virtual classroom program that prepares participants to take their business idea from concept to an executable business model in a relatively short time frame. This follow-on course is delivered through an interactive virtual classroom led by experienced professionals. Revenue Readiness consists of live instructor-led session held twice per week with corresponding assignments. Each session is recorded for those who are unable to attend the live session, providing par participants the flexibility to incorporate the course into their own schedules. Participants will receive individualized feedback on assignments from experienced business professionals. So that's good. I mean, again, it's giving you um, the ability to do this, but then you can also work it around in your schedule. And so uh, you definitely want to look at this as well. And so I just wanted to come in and share these two platforms with you to kind of show you some of the stuff that's out there. Make sure that you um, pay attention to the make. Well, I'm sorry. Welcome to the room uh, veteran playlist, because I will be sharing more information that is applicable to veterans just to help you a little bit when you are out here, you know, trying to get reacclimated with the civilian life as well as you know make sure that you're not missing out on any of the benefits that are out there for veterans so until the next time i hope that this was helpful to you um, and i will check you out in the next video